my new book, Transformational Leadership in Banking, Challenges of Governance, Leadership and Human Resources. In spite of numerous reform efforts made in the past few decades, Indian banking remains in a fragile state. At the same time, it faces seismic and unfamiliar new challenges such as digital disruption and COVID-19. These past and future challenges confront banking with tough questions about its role and survival in a way and urgency that has not, never been faced in the last six decades. Can Indian banking reset itself to survive and possibly emerge stronger, safer and resilient? How can it come from the chains and weight of the past practices and choices made or avoided leading to piecemeal and ad hoc reforms, complexity, bureaucratic processes and culture of compliance and control? While nobody can deny that banking sector plays a very, very strategic role in developing the economy, it must be now recognized that yesterday's methodologies cannot work in creating a modern system of banking. In that context, this book is a seminal as it not only confronts the difficult questions Indian banking faces, in a bold and direct manner, but also presents an actionable agenda. In doing so, it takes a holistic 360 degree view in the context of past legacies and future challenges and argues for an integrated transformational reform process. The book is unique in more than one ways. The book challenges the conventional wisdom and improving the banks through rules and control and processes and offers a fundamentally different path to improve banking sector. The book unique emphasis on people, processes and intangibles to reform and build banks aligned to the digital future of banking. The book argues for leadership, culture and talent which are fundamentally important for a variety of reasons. It also contains, as I said, actionable agenda, which requires major decisions in reforming governance process. The agenda includes specific issues such as leadership tenures, lack of autonomy to select board members aligned to the needs of the bank, issues of board level oversight into HR function, lack of HR system and processes, need to review industry-wide wage structure, and existing culture of control leading to fear, psychosis and inaction. The book overall brings out a blend of articles, collection of articles from leading authors, banking icons as well as academicians of repute to present a new future for banking and discuss new ideas. The book also provide, you know, of, uh, a set of case studies of banks like State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, ICICI Bank, Union Bank of India, which presents how despite constraints, these banks have done an excellent work in the area of human resource development and uh, leadership. Uh, a special feature of this book is that there are six interviews from the banking icons. Some of them include the um, non-executive chairman who came from outside the industry. What is their perspective? How do they feel about the reforms? The others include experts on uh, digitalization, board issues and human resource development. Overall, I am sure that the readers of this book, the executive, senior executives, top management, CEOs, board members, policy planners, will find something of their interest in the book and I'm sure this book will certainly capture their attention. Thank you very much.